Okay. How do you bring on your second wife? So um, we uh, we dated about two more queens, and it didn't work, you know. Um, so then when the second wife comes, uh, let me see how that happened. I remember she moved in. She was a believer, and me and her would talk on the phone, and we would talk over the internet and just talk over the phone. And so I had met her at an airport. So um, when I met her, she doesn't particularly know that I'm doing polygyny. She just met me, you know. Um, when I start talking to her, I let her know what I'm doing. She's resonating with everything. And she was at a point in her life where she was um, uh, she was graduating. She's over here waving at me now. <laughs> um, she, um, she, she just came and stayed with us. She took a leap of faith. How, said, how old was I'm she willing. at the time? Aja, were you 19, 20? Yeah, 19. She was 19. And she took that leap of faith. And she said, you know, I'm going to come and I'm going to put my best foot forward. Because also, um, something that I'm big with is let's work on it. Like, we don't need to just come together and be perfect immediately. But it's also this thing of are you willing? I'm willing, right? She's going to come with baggage. She's going to come with um, ideologies that may need to be challenged. You, and she may want to challenge me. Let's let's get together and let's do this. Let's get, you know, I'm willing to get challenged. I'm willing to have these dialogues. And so she had, she had enough confidence in herself. And I would say she had enough balls to come challenge me, you know, and to come try it and, and see what it was worth. So I always appreciated her because she solidified our relationship as a polygynous relationship. When she came... Now it was a fish. Yes. Now we really got now it's three of us for real. You know. You you know, I, I should have asked you this earlier. Where where does your parents fall in line with this? Your parents are watching you go okay. through this spiritual journey. <laughs> they didn't raise you this way. I'm sure your right. wives, uh, their parents didn't raise them this way. Right. How how so yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. So um, my mom was against it originally. You know, uh, my mom was against it. She said, you know, you were always a one woman man because I was I'm a, I've always been an honest guy. Like when I was younger, I just wouldn't date if I wasn't if I was going to cheat or whatever. I just would tell the girl we can't I'm not in a relationship. But I had cousins who would tell the girl, yeah, we're in a relationship, but still have other girlfriends. So in my family dynamic, my mother and all them seen me as the honest one, you know, and. So it was she kind of felt like I turned my back on who I was mm. to do the to do the poly life. She kind of she would just she would kind of just, you know, she would just tell me, like, I don't like this. You know, you're a one woman man. And, you know, so she was against it originally. My mom's a tough. What about person. your dad? My mom's probably one of the toughest people in my family. My dad, he's super laid back and he's just like, if you like it, I love it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.